It's 6.33 right now. Along with restaurants and movie theaters, parks, you can now go to the gym today for the first time in months. But it is definitely not going to feel the same. Nobody can doubt that. Michelle from Good Day State Line, live at the Northeast Family YMCA. They are welcoming their first guest. Uh, they did so about 6 o'clock today. And it looks the same, but it's not quite the same, Michelle. <laughs> yeah, good morning, Whitney. You said it's going to be different. People are also going to be really sore. I have decided that. I'm like, oh, even one day at the gym, these wonderful humans who woke up early to get here are going to be sore because they haven't been at the gym for months. Melissa is with us this morning. Melissa, tell us the process when you walk into the Y. What's it going to be like now? Um, when you come in, you're going to want to read. We have four questions listed. And so, um, you know, if you answer yes to any of those, you know, unfortunately, you can't come in. Um, but then we take your temperature and then we just ask that you wear your mask you know when you come in mm -hmm. and then um, once you get to where you're going to work out then you can take your mask off and we just ask that you clean equipment you know behind you and we have staff that are going to be cleaning as well so that's pretty much it so I've been hearing um, in a lot of places are taking temperatures but I'm just curious because not everyone is literally 98.6 so what temperature are you looking for um, we're looking for anything below 100.4 so if you're in that zone you're good to go <laughs> and obviously they're gonna take your temperature uh, before you work out <laughs> Right. I'm sure right. it gets higher. So you told me before that um, you get an hour in the gym and you have to have a reservation. And then also some of the gym equipment is kind of blocked off. Yeah, so we have the equipment all spread apart six feet, you know, so uh, as far as the cardio equipment goes. And then for the weightlifting, um, we just ask that you properly social distance yourself. Um, we're only allowed to have a certain amount of people, you know, the, mm -hmm. uh, per hour. Um, so, so far, so good. We had about 17 people that were raring to go at 6 a.m. this morning. <laughs> so, Melissa, did they all show up? Uh, no. <laughs> so, but you know how that goes. Yeah. So hopefully they'll trickle in a little late, and if we can accommodate them, we certainly will. I kind of love the reservation thing because when it comes to working out, yes, we've all been staying home trying to work out, and it's been really hard, but having that reservation might actually get you to the gym. Yeah, I think it might hold some people accountable of, you know, I'm taking a spot from somebody else, and so I need to make sure that I show up. So I also, when I walked in, I uh, saw the social distancing, they're not, I don't know if they're stickers, but cir yeah, circles on the floor. So that's when you come in, you want to make sure you stand on those, right? Yeah, yeah. We have it all the way from, you know, the first door that you come in all the way to the front desk. And just, you know, I think a visual helps people to make sure that it's a, a reminder, so yeah. to properly distance. Awesome. Thanks, Melissa. We're going to talk a little bit more. Uh, we're going to be at the Y for a little longer this morning. It is the perfect day to work out inside because it is pouring rain outside, right, Whitney? <laughs> Yeah, all right. Thanks so much, Rochelle. Of course, we're going to be checking in with facilities. A lot of information coming in, so I want to get right to those updates if you do plan on working out. So the Northeast of Riverfront locations, they are now open uh, with limited hours and capacity. You have to make a reservation, though, if you want to get in. And then the uh, Puri family location, so right at uh, Newburgh and Perryville, that area is going to actually be closed for right now. All the classes, too, they are by reservation only. You have to call ahead of time if you want to work out. Like Michelle was saying, though, maybe it'll hold us accountable to actually get there. And then you're going to also see some temperature checks when you arrive. So please remember that when you're walking in, you got to give yourself a little more time. Uh, no need to wear a mask while you're working out. We saw that you know, in the facility. But when you're walking in, you're walking around the facilities, they're asking that you do wear some, especially for a lot of the um, older guests that are in there.